So today we're going to be testing out a screen protector made by Unique Me for the brand Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm pretty interested to see what's inside this box because it is so big and it's only a film screen protector. And you're definitely going to want to stick around until the end of the video because I will be doing a scratch test to see how scratch resistant this screen protector is. And I promise you by the end of this video you'll know whether or not the screen protector is right for you. So look at this box. This is probably the biggest screen protector box that I have ever seen, second to the Whiskin. So here is our installation box. Let's open this up, see what we get inside. So it looks like we get two film screen protectors. This isn't even tempered glass. All this for film, we get a squeegee, some stickers, and an installation kit. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to clean off your screen with the alcohol wipe. Then dry the screen off. Then you're going to take your installation tray. We're going to take our phone. We're going to press it inside the tray with the camera going up to the top of the guide. Take your wipe and just press the phone into place if we can. There we go. Get rid of any dust. Then take one of your screen protectors. We want to make sure this little hole in the middle goes over the little like hook on the top of your phone here. So put that over the hook just like that. And then put the little posts through the holes on the guide at the bottom here. Just like that. Press those into place. Then we're going to close up our guide. Snap it into place just like that. Then hold on the guide and we're going to pull out a little plastic tab in the bottom. Then we need to take this piece, we're going to pull it down to the bottom. Then we're going to push it back up to the top. Then open up the guide. We're going to peel up the protector. Make sure you don't take the screen protector with it when you're taking it off your phone. So be very careful. Then we can remove our phone, put aside the guide, and we'll take a look. So installation looks perfect. I don't see any bubbles. I don't see any lifting. Everything looks nice. It is a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your camera. As far as touch, super smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone, maybe even smoother than that. There is a slight gap on the bottom and the top of the phone. Not so much on the sides though, but we're gonna test the case friendliness. The edges are a little catchy. They're not, they're not rounded, so your finger might catch on the edge. As far as fingerprints, it does seem to pick up some fingerprints on the screen. But you can very easily just wipe those away. Very not. Maybe a little bit harder than regular, but they still go away fairly easily. So now let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working well. Yeah, no problems there. Let's test out our S Pen. S Pen works well on the screen. There's really not any resistance. It's pretty smooth. This is probably the smoothest screen protector that I've tested so far with the S Pen. So that may or may not be good for you, but the S Pen seems to be working just fine. And I don't see any marks on the screen from the S Pen either. Facial recognition works perfectly fine, and you can still access everything you need to from the screen, and it is nice and clear. So now let's see what the screen looks like through polarized sunglasses. Woof. So there is a rainbow effect, and if you move your phone, it gets even worse. So yeah, um, it's just something to note that may or may not bother you, and you may not even use polarized sunglasses. Let's put the phone in our case. And it does seem to fit perfectly. 
there is an ever so slight gap on the edge. So the screen protector is not actually touching the edges of the case. And there's more of a gap on the top and the bottom. But this screen protector should be case friendly with most cases. So now let's move on to the scratch test. So regular film starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number two, which is simply just plastic. And then it gets worse with the number three, which is copper. So we're going to start off with the number two. And then we'll move on to the number three. So if we take a closer look, you can see that the screen protector does deform at a number two, but it seems like it's a self-healing screen protector. So these might go away with a little bit of time, but with the number three, it creates deep gashes that are definitely not gonna go away. So the scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for film screen protectors. And as you can see, the marks on the screen are already kind of healing from the level two mark. So installation for the screen protector really was pretty easy. It also seems to work well with the in-display fingerprint sensor and the S Pen. It also seems to be case friendly. There's no drop protection because it is a film screen protector and scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for film screen protectors. And if you want to remove this screen protector, just lift up in one of the edges and then peel up the rest of the protector. And as you can see, your screen is pristine. So again, I'm not a huge fan of these film screen protectors, but the installation for this was surprisingly pretty effective. It is also a self-healing screen protector, so if you happen to get a little minor scratch on it, it should heal up. So if you guys want to pick this up yourself, I will be putting a product link in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.